you, yes, you, say goodbye to boring PowerPoint presentation. In this video, I'll show you how you can take advantage by Copilot to create stunning PowerPoint presentation reusing your organization templates. You can stay in this way on brand. So let me show you how you can do that. Let's go. Here I am in PowerPoint. Now to draft with Copilot a new presentation, you have here the classic Copilot icon on top of your slide. If you select the first option, create a new presentation, this will open this new panel where you have the ability to change the sign. So you can stay on brand following the style of your organization. So here, what I'm going to do is selecting your organization. And what I'm seeing here is a bunch of document libraries that are available on my brand guide site, which is basically an org site assets library. If you missed how to configure and create your org site assets library for your organization, check one of my previous video, I dedicated one to this topic. So now that I clicked on the presentation templates folder, which is available through my SharePoint site, I can select this template. So this is my company template that I want to use, reuse, let's say, for my presentation. Now I can type whatever I want just to draft a very basic presentation, but just to show you that I'm going to reuse the template selected here. Create a presentation about climate change in the world. So let's go ahead by selecting the proper icon and now I will get a bunch of suggestions here that I can reuse. Let's go with the first one. Now it's not very important to focus on the structure of the slide here. I can add additional topic is AI doesn't cover pre pretty well what I want to achieve, but I want to have this one. I have introduction to climate change, causes of climate change, effects, impact, on the ecosystems and biodiversity, human and, and so on. So this is the structure of my presentation. I can now select generate a presentation and let's away that copilot do the job. So now you are going to notice that copilot will apply the template that I selected. Now that the structure is going to be finalized, I will have this preview, let's say, of every slide. And here we go. As you can see, I reused the template selected. This is the brand template for my PowerPoint presentation of my organization. Let's hit the button on keep it. And there we go. So, les jeux sont faits. I have all slides and the PowerPoint presentation created through Copilot exactly with the template that I selected and picked it from my org site assets library. Another use case that I would like to show you instead of going on this copilot icon and then create a new presentation to open the panel that we have seen before in order to change the design of your presentation, you have a new brand option here. Under new, you are going to notice create with Copilot. If you hit this element, you are going to have and enjoy the same user experience where you can open the panel, write a description, select and pick the template that you want, go ahead and keep the presentation that Copilot draft for you. So this is another way that you have. Now, let me show you another interesting thing. Let me open my org site assets library. This is a, basically a normal SharePoint site, but this site contains all my templates, office templates, stock images, but let's focus on office templates. Here, I'm going to open this document library. And as you can notice, I have here this PowerPoint template here available at the very first level. Now, something that I noticed when you are 
trying to reuse an existing template. So if you select this to open the panel, when you select your organization, I can see any PowerPoint template at the very first level. It means that you have to store it or store them in a folder. And this is exactly what I have done. I have here the template under the presentation templates. And this is the only way apparently that I have to select this template because this is under this folder. It's contained in this folder and I have the ability to select it. But at the very first level, there's no template available. Even if this is stored and available in the document, document library. So as we have seen before, this is the folder presentation templates that I selected before. And in the first level, there is also the same PowerPoint template, but this is not, somehow this is not visible. What do you think about this capability? Are you going to use it? Let me know in the comment down below. And write Copilot if you want to see more video like this one. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.